Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining us today. My name is Sophia and here's my colleague Asil Khan. Hi, Asil. Uh, we are very excited to announce our first interview in this year and we invited for you a special guest. Today we will ask a question to Michelle J. Raymond. She is the LinkedIn strategist and trainer and helps companies uh, sell more on LinkedIn and increase their brand awareness. So if you still don't follow her on LinkedIn, I think uh, you've lost a lot. Yeah, believe me. Hi, Michelle. How are you doing today? G'day from Sydney and Happy New Year to you both. I'm very excited to be here and thank you for allowing me to be your first guest this year. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you so much for coming, for joining us today. So uh, I think we can start with the question. Sure. Now, hi, Michelle again. And hey. uh, we all know that it's important to comment on LinkedIn, but uh, maybe you could throw us some tips how to do it right. Yeah, that makes total sense. And, you know, LinkedIn is so easy and complicated all at the same time because people say, just get on there, just throw a comment, just post, just do this, just do that. And there's like advice that comes from everywhere. So I like to keep things simple, you know, and I've been using LinkedIn for social selling for around eight years now. So I've had a lot of experience. I've made a lot of mistakes, but here's what I've found. For those of you who are terrified about getting active on LinkedIn and the thought of actually creating content, like doing a post, I think comments are a really great place to start. Uh, and that is the place that I often say to my clients when I'm working with them, I would say, let's start with liking a few posts and then let's work up to comments. And why do I love comments? Well, you get to borrow somebody else's audience. And I think that's amazing. So if you're just starting out, if you were to come and comment on my post, for instance, I've got 12,000 followers. You might only have a few hundred. A huge percentage of my you know, connections and followers will see your comments. So it's a really easy way to get visibility by borrowing someone else's audience. Now, what makes a good comment? Because you don't want to just say, great share. Thanks for that. Or, you know, just those answers that are like generic, boring, don't show that you know what you're talking about. If someone has asked a question in the post, go ahead and answer that question. You know, don't be afraid to share your knowledge or your personal experiences because the thing that everybody forgets is you're all unique. There is only one of you with your own experiences. So commenting for me is about making them thoughtful, making them not just stock standard, blah, 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 and making them memorable because you will stand out and it's about being consistent. So don't just do a couple today and then disappear for a few weeks and then come back again and then disappear and then come back again. Um, the more that you practice on a daily basis, you'll just keep getting better. So that's part of my advice, but the practice, it gets easier. Thank you. Yep. Uh, commenting and disappearing is my style. So <laughs> You're I not alone. Work. Look, I, I understand that for a lot of people, when you write a comment and it can be for all different reasons, you think other people might be judging you. You think you might look silly. You might think that you're not smart enough. You might think somebody else is clever. Um, I'm going to put it out there. Maybe English is your second language and you're worried about how your English will come across. You know, I work with clients all over the world um, and that does come up um, and it's valid, right? You know, I can't speak any other languages. If LinkedIn was in any other language, I would have big problems. Um, so there can be lots of things that go up in your head and fears that stop us. And the thing is, everybody's scared. I was scared when I started. Every influencer had to start somewhere on LinkedIn, every expert. But it's just practice that makes it a little bit easier. The other thing that happens is when you start sharing what you think and your feelings, you're going to attract other people that share those opinions. And the really cool part about that is when you've got a community of like-minded people, they're like a shield that protects you, you know, and you feel really much more confident. So for me, the more times you practice, the more times other people recognize that. And then I can very easily go, 
oh, actually, you and I, we're really alike. I want you in my community. And so I get to, that's how I get to meet more people. So, you know, there's nothing but upside. Uh, very rarely have I come across any scary trolls on uh, LinkedIn. We're really lucky because it's a professional platform. Uh, some of the other platforms, it might be a little bit different. But uh, for the most part, everybody's worried that their boss or colleagues will see them if they do something that's not so great. So it's a safe space. But by commenting thoughtfully, you'll attract attract more people and you build a community around you and it just gets better. And I have a question about quantity. So how many posts do you recommend commenting maybe every day or every week? Do you have the specific number or it's just uh, yeah. generic? Look, you can never comment enough as far as I'm concerned, um, but it's thoughtful and targeted. And Sophia, I noticed in one of your goals was to comment on your targeted audience, right? Yes. So we're not just going to yep. waste time and just comment for the sake of commenting. I want you to stop and think, who is a person that I really want to either sell a product to or I like their content, so I want to learn from them. Depends what your goals are on LinkedIn, but be thoughtful and targeted so that you're not mm -hmm. wasting time because I don't know about anyone else, but sometimes on LinkedIn, you can spend all day and just get stuck going down the rabbit hole um, and it can take up a lot of time and get you nowhere. So there are some people out there that would say, go and comment on the big accounts, you know, influencers that have 100,000 plus followers. I think that's a waste of your time. Um, yes, lots of people will see you, but is it the right people? You know, it's like going to a rock concert and playing classical music. You know, it's not going to last. You've just wasted your time. So even if accounts are just smaller accounts, if they're in your ideal audience, for me, it's like B2B marketers or B2B digital agencies. If they're mm -hmm. in that, I don't care how big they are, you know, contribute to that conversation. So if, if I was saying someone starting out, three to five comments per day would be amazing. Um, if you can get that up, maybe to say something like 10 as you get faster, possibly more confident, uh, you'll be like, you just want to keep going. So yeah, that's, that's my advice for most people starting out. Okay, thank that's you so much point. for your answer. Yeah, thank you. Yep. Yeah. And you know, uh, one more question just popped up in my head. Is no that, problem. Uh, you know, one of our previous videos, we were uh, recommending people to um, novices in uh, on LinkedIn to uh, publish one post per day. Mm -hmm. And now we also recommending to start commenting uh, every day. And some people would say that it's too much activity for me uh, on LinkedIn. And uh, so if you had to choose, you know, uh, one thing over another, what would you recommend to publish every day or every other day, but commenting constantly? I think commenting constantly is probably more important than creating every single day. So I probably create content on my own profile. Depends on the week, but I'm going to say four times a week. So not every day, sometimes less, sometimes more, but on average four times. The reason that I would say commenting is again, you are supporting somebody else that's creating content. Now, when you put a post out, I don't care whether you're brand new or been doing it for a long time like I have. What actually happens is we do a post, we press post, and then we sit there and we wait and see who's going to comment, who's going to like, right? And we're like, will anybody like this? And so if you're that person that's always supporting other people, here's what happens on LinkedIn. You help other people, they help you back, right? And this is where comments can lead to conversations because what we want to do is try and get people into the, the messages and then ultimately have a conversation off LinkedIn. So LinkedIn is not about features and functions. It's about conversations and collaborations that you can have with other people. And comments are really a great way to nurture relationships. And so for me, if you have to pick, I'm going with comments. Um, if you could do a little bit of both, maybe one one day, one the other day, that would be a good mix uh, so that people can see what you think in more detail. So, uh, but yeah, it depends on the size of your goal, right? You've got a big goal, you've got to do the work. Uh, but if you've got a short time period that you've got to get results you've got to do more work so ultimately you know it just depends what you're shooting for so thank you thank, thank you so much, you so much for your answer
yeah no worries look commenting is just you know something that anyone can do just my my real thing that I want to tell people is just be confident in you don't be scared um I know that it can be overwhelming like I said there's a lot of fears a lot of doubts um uh, but with practice you'll just get so much better at it and what happens is you know you never know where it will lead so for instance a comment that I wrote two years ago uh was seen by one of my friends who's become one of my best friends on LinkedIn we even wrote a book together recently and that yeah. came out of a comment I I've had comments that have led to podcasts. I've had comments that have led to being able to speak at different places. So never underestimate the power of comments. Like they are just something where, like I said, other people will see it. They'll get to see what kind of a person you are. And yeah, you just never know where they'll take you. Great. Thank you so much. No problem. You just, you just motivate me uh, after our call. <laughs> I just wanted to leave comments <laughs> on LinkedIn. <laughs> and, and the more that you do it with people that you become familiar with, uh, you know, start off with people you're friends with. You know, get confident with people that you're friends with. Come comment on my posts. I respond to everybody's comments. Um, I welcome them. I've got a community that's all amazing and it's built on goodness. Um, so, you know, I'm really blessed that I can have a bunch of people around me that know from what I post and know how I support them that they have it come back again. So, uh, yeah, the more that you do it, the more you have people on your side. Um, and like I said, it just becomes so much less scary. So uh, one of the things I, I, I would say to you both is if it is something that you're like, eh, I'm still not sure, Michelle, um, do what's called a streak builder. So challenge yourself to do five days in a row. Um, and then once you do that, see if you can go the next six to 10 days. Um, and what you'll find is by challenging yourself to form this habit, it just becomes easier because you go, oh, nothing actually happens. People just start conversations. Uh, so, yeah, there's only upside if you if you can give it a go. Yes, let's do it all together. <laughs> yeah, let's start the challenge. For anyone that's listening and watching this back, like I challenge you, five days in a row, five comments. Uh, go for it and see what happens because I promise you, if you give it a go, it will change your life. You just never know where it will take you. LinkedIn makes it easier for people because it's a professional network. Because I remember some comments on professional topics on Reddit and <laughs> people there yeah. are pretty... <laughs> yeah. yeah, or Twitter. I got trolled yeah. on Twitter one time and I was like, what is this place? Like, why are they so mean? Uh, but you imagine on LinkedIn, we're all connected to people we work with or our bosses or other competitors, um, our former colleagues. So it's really everybody's watching because we're so connected uh, and you don't want to go out there and put nasty comments because that forms part of your brand, you know, and this is what I don't think people realize. And there's been plenty of examples where people think that they're either being funny or sarcastic or you know maybe just something's Disruptive, triggered them and they yeah know. they write a comment that's really abrasive um and it blows up more than what they ever expected and from there you don't know the implications uh so you know that's the consequences of you know doing things that aren't nice um at an you know the lowest level and so from that perspective i think it's a pretty safe space if for some reason somebody does comment back or on your post and you're like, no deal, I don't like that, that's like really aggressive or something bothers you about it, um, maybe they're trying to really start a fight and you don't feel comfortable, there's three dots on the where every, in the top right hand corner of every comment, just click on that and you can report or block it. You don't have to put up with it, it's really easy to do, they don't get notified, um, so you have full control to keep yourself safe. Thank, Thank you so you. much, Michelle. My Thanks pleasure. Everyone for watching us and please follow Michelle's profile for some more insights on and on LinkedIn intricacies. I know you have posted uh, one post about chat GPT with your thoughts. Yeah, yeah and it's pretty interesting. Go, go to Michelle's profile and read it. I recommend it to everyone. Yep. So thanks for watching us again. It is Bye -bye. my pleasure. Enjoy. Thank that you. Wasn't.